Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm making this beautiful gift bag. This is a Christmas gift bag. And I'm starting out with just a craft color paper bag and some Hero Arts Unicorn. This is a beautiful white pigment ink. I'm using this Hampton Art Large Circle stamp. And I love this stamp. And I'm just going to randomly stamp around my bag. I'm using a um, stamping pad underneath so it gives me a little more cushion. You could use a magazine to help with that as well. So I'm just randomly stamping it all around making sure to go off the edge and I put a clipboard underneath because I did want to heat set this because this ink does take a while to dry. So off camera I did the other side as well. I didn't bother doing the sides of the bag but you could do those if you wanted to. And now I'm not, this is going to be for a Christmas gift which I don't, I haven't done any shopping yet so I'm just sticking some tissue paper in there for now just to give me the um, width of the bag so I know how full it's going to be. So here I'm just going to add some removable tape to hold it in place until I add my gift at a later date. You'd want to add your gift before you go ahead and de decorate the outside. So here I'm using some gorgeous lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. They have the most gorgeous lace trim to choose from and I'm just adhering it on the bottom of both ends of the bag with some hot glue and then I'll trim it to size. And here I give you a closer look at this guy, Pure Lace. I'll have all the products listed down in the description box as well as on my blog. So here are some new products from Wild Orchid Crafts. They have lots of new products in store. This one, as you can see, is a wreath that says Merry Christmas, and it's a laser etched chipboard. I'm choosing a Sizzix frame that's going to be a little bit larger. It's a scallop frame, and I have a piece of Heidi Swap paper, that music note paper. It's a very pretty paper but it was still a little too dark for what I wanted. So I'm cutting out the same size piece of vellum and this is a pinstripe vellum. It's by Nina. And here in a moment, you'll see that I cut out a piece of chipboard as well to give it a little bit of dimension, but I'm going to adhere down my vellum with a few dots of multi -mat medium mat. And I'm going to use that to adhere the laser cut piece as well. You can ink those or stain those, spray them. I wanted to leave it that natural wood looking color. So I'm adding that piece onto my thin piece of chipboard with some Scotch Quick Dry. I just barely wanted that music note paper to show in the background. And now I'm going to, like I said, adhere down my wreath piece. I added the multimedia mat and set some stamp blocks on it and let it dry for a little while. So I'm pulling out, look how pretty that is. I love their new wood cutouts. They have lots, they have a Santa sleigh, they have uh, word cutouts, they have lots to choose from and really, really great price point. Again, I'll link everything that I use down in the description box. So as I started to say, I'm pulling out different um, Christmas flowers. The ones in the package you see are pretty flory flowers. Those are some of my favorite to use. And I think it looked great on there. But in the end, I decided I wanted to use a smaller cluster on the bottom right and the top left. So I'm pulling out the small poinsettias in both white and red. And here's where I decided I like the smaller ones, even though those pretty flory flowers are just absolutely gorgeous. So using some hot glue, I'm alternating the petals and I'm stacking three of the white ones together. And I decided I wanted to tuck some red ones behind the white ones, so I'm stacking two of those together, the poinsettias together. They come in large and small. As you can see, I'm using the smaller ones. And now I'm pulling out these beautiful red bead berry spray clusters and using my Tim Holtz piercing tool, I'm poking a hole in the middle along with my scissors and just threading those through. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to adhere them down and look how gorgeous those are. And they come in different, they come in white, pink, red, um, silver, gold, lots to choose from. I, as you can see, I'm using the red. And so now I'm just going to adhere these down. Here I also pulled out some snowflakes that Wild Orchid Crafts has. I love using these. And I think they're like a doll or something for, um, you get quite a few of them. Like I said, really good price point on on their products. So I just tuck those to the bottom right and the top left. The red poinsettias I'm tucking underneath my scallop and the white ones I'm tucking on top. And then I'm just gonna add the snowflakes peeking out under those as well. 
and my camera cut out for some reason, but I just pulled out these gorgeous silver frosted berry sprays. These are new from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, these come in different colors as well, and I tuck those in around. You'll get a closer look in the photos. And now I'm adding a bow that I cut from the cameo and a silver gem to the center. And that finishes off my sweet gift bag. There's so many different ways you can go with this. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Please check out Wild Orchid Crafts and I'll have all the links in the description box. Thanks so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.